If you're thinking of donating blood and need an extra push, you should probably speak to Penticton resident John Rockins. He was recently honoured with a certificate from Canadian Blood Services for donating 150 times. He says he first donated when he was 16 years old at the Penticton Legion Hall, which was more than 55 years ago. I've given about three times a year, average. But when I lived in Vancouver, I used to go every eight weeks religiously <laughs> because it was so easy to go. When Rockins was a toddler, his mother was hospitalized in North Vancouver due to health issues, needing a blood transfusion. So I didn't see her for a year, which was quite a traumatic event for a boy who's four or five. But my mother went on to live to be 100, so she did very well. Later on in life, his daughter would spend a year and a half in BC Children's Hospital due to a virus. And she had to take, have blood products as well. And so it was uh, quite, um, quite upsetting at the time, but she now is a happy mother of two children up in Kamloops. Rockins was at the Penticton Seniors Drop-In Centre on Tuesday, where dozens of people visited the mobile clinic set up to donate blood, including Mayor Andrew Jacobite and Councillor Helena Conans. There's an extra spotlight this week since it's National Blood Donor Week, but Gail Voyer with Canadian Blood Services pointed out the free mobile clinic is at the Senior Centre every four weeks. Most people aged 17 and older can donate. We need over um, over um, 5,500 donations um, in BC before July 1st, and so that's a pretty big number. Um, so the, the need is always there. The need for blood never goes away. For Castanet News, I'm Colton Davies in Penticton. Thank you.